What's going on my dudes one step here today with the ultimate marvel rivals week one tier list now I have played every character. I have played against every character I'm not a pro player or anything. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, yeah hulk's punches are five frames So he sucks. I'm not gonna be telling you that I'll be telling you where I think the characters belong on the tier list based off their effectiveness How good of a team player they are how good they're at and what they're supposed to be doing because this is not a uh, Who does the most damage tier list? This is an overall tier list where the characters lie with how good they are what they're supposed to be good at So subscribe here for more marvel rivals content and let's get into it up first is adam warlock uh, i'm gonna put adam warlock over in the a tier i don't think he's quite s but he is a really good healer which his damage output was a bit higher but i get he support he's almost an s for me because his ult is so good it's like the only ult in the game that revives the entire team if they die so he's probably high a low s they're not ordered but uh, he's right there i'm not gonna lie to you guys hulk is uh hulk is not he's not great he's not absolutely terrible i have c here as the, like the bottom tier but that does not mean they, they are terrible character i made see the bottom because i don't think they're absolutely garbage characters in marvel rivals but there are definitely some that are better than others with their overall kit and hulk i thought would just be i thought it would just be better yeah monster hulk has a ton of health sure but like he's just so easy to ping away with all these characters that have some form of projectile flying better damage output stuff like that it's just so hard to stay alive with hulk yeah he, he's my first c tier iron fist is an amazing melee character he is up here in the s i'll tell you what man when you get targeted by an iron fist you might as well just put the controller down and say gg because you are dead he's probably up there in the best mobility of the game awesome damage great melee attacks yeah he, he's up there iron man funny enough to complete this list is going to be our very first b tier character he's good i like iron man his biggest weakness is he is just flying around so a lot of these characters can just ping him out of the sky you got characters like black widow namor i hawkeye they will just absolutely take out iron man he's got good splash damage projectile he can fly. I like that. Good missiles. A good ult. He's not phenomenal in any way, and he's not absolutely garbage in any way. Jeff is a really solid support character. I love Jeff. The ability to heal, put out decent damage. Has got a great ult. He can go underground and get away pretty quick. Jeff has got a ton of really good tools. You know what? Now that I say that, yeah, he's actually S. We're gonna put Jeff in S. Talking about it, change my mind. He's S. Loki is uh, is not bad. I'll put him in the B tier with Iron Man. The clones are cool. They don't do anything crazy. The invisibility is nice. He's a decent healer when he needs it to be and his damage is not terrible. He's all around pretty good If you have a really good Luna snow on your team, she is s tier. Yes, she can heal. She's got good mobility She's a great healer alongside there with jeff another b character is gonna be magic. She's not terrible She's not phenomenal. I don't think in a lot of ways her damage is pretty dang good she Doesn't have really any form of good projectile So she has to be upfront and personal and a lot of characters do that But those characters do it better like iron fist, but her ultimate is very scary. So overall, I think she's just really good. Magneto is going to be an A tier tank. I love Magneto. I think his movement speed and his damage output kind of drops him from S to A, but overall, man, he is awesome. He stops projectiles. He can shield his ally or himself. He's a really good tank. I like Magneto. Mantis is a really solid support character. I do think that Jeff and Luna have a bit of a better kit than Mantis. I like that she can up the damage. She can heal. She's got decent damage herself. Her ult's not bad. I think she's overall pretty good. I'm not trying to downplay Moon Knight. People are saying he's S. Some say he's bad. I think he's really good. I, I, I like Moon Knight a lot. He's got a lot of great tools in his kit. He can do the damage. He's got mobility. He's got a great ult. He's definitely better than the B tier characters. I don't think he's quite S, but damn, is he good. Black Panther is uh is one of my... I don't know how I feel, man. I, 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 I personally, I think I'm going to put Black Panther in C. He's one of those melee characters that has to get in your opponent's face. He's quick and he's got mobility, sure, uh, but these other melee characters just do what he wants to do better if i'm gonna go dps or melee i don't see myself really ever going for black panther even with the benefit that magic offers him it's like ah it's it's not really worth picking him a lot of the time i've seen people put namor in bottom tier i've seen people put him in top tier i think he's solid maybe i'm biased i like namor he's one of the few dps that wants to sit back relax and just shoot stuff all day he's got the turrets yeah they can be destroyed quite easily but they're still annoying to deal with he's got a decent ult if you know how to play namor more right man is he annoying uh i don't really ever see myself if i'm gonna go tank i don't really ever see myself choosing penny parker she's got cool gadgets she's got fun gadgets sure but none of them ever seem to really turn the tides in a match they never really seem to be worth it they're easily destroyable by a lot of characters hawkeye black widow punisher squirrel girl they just never last as long as you want them to as she stands right now again week one i think that she's 
uh, bottom tier, unfortunately. Psylocke is fast. She has the damage. She's got a great ult. She's got great tools. She is S tier. Psylocke is... I'm trying to put more time into Psylocke because she's just so good and I want to play her more. She's S tier. Punisher is... Uh, he's solid, man. He's, he's, he's solid. He's a standard running gun. He's got a shotgun if he needs it for up close. He's got a good turret, a good ult. But as that's like his standalone game plan, it can be countered pretty heavily. Characters like Captain America, Doctor Strange, they can stop projectiles. Same with Magneto. But if they got the right counter pick, he's kind of shut down. I think Rocket Raccoon is a very solid support slash assault hybrid. He can do the support. He can do the revives. He can do the uh, the drops. And he can do decent damage when he wants to. Like, kind of doing DPS while also being a support. I like that. Like, me, personally, I just like to be able to do both when I need to. And Rocket Raccoon can do it. Though Scarlet Witch can absolutely delete and melt opponents, I think she's B tier. Like, she has her moments. She's so good at the right time. She's got one projectile that is decent, but more or less, she needs to be within 15 or so meters to do her standard hits. And again, a lot of these characters don't rely on that. They can just get away and then just ping her from a distance. So uh, she can be counter picked uh, pretty easily, in my opinion, with the rest of the roster. But she's good. She's she's good. Spider-Man is, is slightly above solid. He is really good. I don't think he's quite S. His mobility is probably S. If this was a mobility tier list, he'd be up there for sure. He can swing. He can double jump. He can climb walls. He can be anywhere he wants to be. Now, when he gets up close, he's got the good punches. I think Iron Fist is a bit better in that aspect, but at least he's got the, uh, you know, the webs to swing. He can get in close when he needs to. He's just not quite up in S in my opinion. And you know what? The same thing kind of applies to Squirrel Girl. I think she is really good. She's got good splash damage, a really good ult in the right maps too. Just some really good tools overall. I like her. She's a really good DPS character. In the right hands, Star-Lord is insane. He is S tier for sure. I know he dies so fast. Uh, a lot of these characters do, so he can get in, shoot, get out. He's got great mobility. In your face, he's doing insane damage. He is deleting you from the game. Star-Lord is, is awesome. I think Black Widow is a very solid DPS. She can snipe. She's got the damage. She can get up close and do a couple good melee attacks. Black Widow kind of sitting here with the very solid characters. Storm is uh, is not bad. I think she's pretty good. Yeah, she can boost movement. She can boost damage. But she's kind of in the same boat as Iron Man. She's always floating. She's always flying. So many of these characters can just ping her off and she doesn't survive as long as you think she would. And her damage is is fine. It's like, it's not great, not terrible. Thor, for some reason, just uh, does not does not hit for me, man. I think he's B. I think, I think he's good. I just think he could be a bit better. I don't like his cooldown system for all of his moves. His damage output as a tank is, is fine. And even as a tank, he has less health than most other tanks. He's a literal god and has less health than these other tanks. I think overall, he's he's fine. Venom, on the other hand, is probably one of the better tanks. Like he's got more health than Thor and even better mobility. He can basically heal himself, give himself more health. Pretty good damage. And with the right healer, he seems to just never die. Venom is, is really good. Winter Soldier, honestly, I, I've seen some I've seen some crazy things. With, I think he's a sleeper. Winter Soldier is a sleeper. He, he is S tier. People uh, do not know how to play Winter Soldier. They assume he's bad. No, this guy, he's got it all. Get in your face. Melee. He's got a projectile that's really good. Pretty damn good ult. Like, you use all that correctly, and Winter Soldier is going to just... He, he's going to delete you. I think Wolverine is, is A tier. He is really damn good. He's one of the uh, better get in your face melee characters. Again, they're not ordered, but still. The only problem, again, is he can get just picked off by these other characters. Namor, Black Widow. Punisher, they can, you know, they kind of want to stay away as Wolverine wants to get in your face. Now, to be fair, once he does, he will erase you. So yeah, he, he's a really solid character. I think the same goes for Captain America. He's got the health of a tank, more health than Thor, pretty damn good mobility, a shield projectile of sorts, good melee hits, and he can even stop projectiles with a shield. He's doing what a tank is supposed to be doing with great mobility. Captain America is a really solid character. Say what you want about Cloak and Dagger. They are S tier. The ability to do DPS damage as close shroud your allies and blind your opponents and then switch to dagger heal your allies also do pretty good damage and the ability to switch back and forth on the fly yeah yeah cloak and dagger is is phenomenal i love them they're s tier dr strange uh in the right hands is also s tier he is definitely one of the better tanks giant shield to stop everything he's the only character in the game that can create a portal what are we playing split gate yeah he can do that your allies can shoot through it a very underutilized tool that nobody really seems to use effectively it's 
frames, but when you do, that tool alone is phenomenal. And his damage is pretty fine. All that put together, he is an S tier tank. Have you ever fought an annoying ass character who's also tank at the same time and just never seems to die? Yeah, that's group. Building walls left and right, stopping you, stopping your game plan, stopping your movement, seeming to never die, especially with a healer. So much health, it seems. And then decent damage output. Gru is the definition of a tank and he does it well. Hawkeye is really solid. I like Hawkeye. The ability just to ping your opponents from afar, get those sweet headshots, those one shot kills, and even has some melee attacks if he needs to get in close, he can. So if somebody does bum rush him, he can hold his own for a minute. He's got a phenomenal ult. He's a really solid character. And you know what? The same can be said for Hela. He's got some really good tools. I like her a lot. Her damage is pretty good. A really cool and unique ultimate move. Decent mobility as a DPS. Yeah, she's got some really good stuff. So overall, yeah, this is my ultimate week one Marvel Rivals tier list. 10 characters I'm putting up in S tier, the top 10 characters. Iron Fist, Jet the Shark, Luna, Psylocke, Star Lord, Venom, Winter Soldier, Cloak and Dagger, Doctor Strange, and Groot. That's good. We got some support characters, some DPS, some tanks. Love to see that. And then while all of the rest of the roster is kind of in the middle being really solid or just beneath that, we have the, uh, in my opinion, uh, the bottom tier-ish characters with Hulk, Black Panther, and Penny. I don't know, man. What, what Just whatever they try to bring to the table, it seems other characters bring it better. So I never really see myself trying to go for them. Good news is after filling out this tier list, we have no support characters, in my opinion, that are at the bottom. They did a really good job on their support characters, and you'll love to see it. So with that being said, my dudes, let me know two things down below. Who is your main, and where do they lie on this list? And do you agree or disagree with this tier list? Keep it civil, but let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more marvel rivals news guides reactions and more